Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be working on some fun DIYs for my front porch. So I hope that you get some fun ideas here. We're gonna be doing things on a budget. I'm going to do some more colorful stuff than I normally do. Thought that would be fun for the front porch and this will be for spring and I might leave it out through summer. I'm not totally sure yet, but anyways, let's get started. All right, so for this project, we are headed out to my garage and I have this home sign. There's some little hooks here. You can see where like a wreath or something goes for the O. I made this quite a while ago and it's on, I'll try to link the video. It's actually from my other channel where I used to, I don't no longer post my DIYs on my other channel, but um, anyways, we're going to do a reverse sign. This board came from Hobby Lobby at the time. I think it was $9.99 and I'm sure I got it 40 or 50% off. Um, I think they're $12.99 now, but um, I'm just going to clean up this back side of the board. I'm going to paint it the same color as the other one, which is actually just agreeable gray. It's our house paint, um, just because, I, I don't know, I guess that's what I had on hand when I did it the first time. So I'm going to give that a coat of the agreeable gray or two, and then we're going to make this reversible sign. All right, moving inside, I have these letters that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. They were $2.49 or $3.49 a piece. I don't remember exactly. They're not something that goes on sale, um, but overall I thought it was still a good price for a large outdoor sign, and I wanted to do hello. I picked out whatever letters. They have so many different options, but I picked out ones that would just fit on the board that I already had, so that's kind of how I made my decision. I found the same board at Hobby Lobby and walked around with it lying or laying out the letters until I found ones that were going to fit. And then I picked out some really bright, fun colors from my paint stash. I don't normally do a lot of bright colors, but I thought it'd be fun for spring, and we're going to use these colors in both of our DIYs for my porch today. And I'm just going to give these a couple of coats, and um, I'm making sure that I'm painting all of the edges as well, and just giving it a nice saturated color because, like I said, I want something nice and bright. So I thought it'd be fun to add a little bit of detail here. So I'm just using a small paintbrush and doing little dashes of white, kind of like a stitching look. I am not doing it as good as I've seen other people do it, but that's okay. It doesn't really bother me. And I'm just doing that along the edges of each of the letters just for a little added detail. If you enjoy these types of videos with budget-friendly DIYs, please consider giving this video a thumbs up because that helps me out so much and it lets me know what you like to see. Also, please consider subscribing before you leave so you don't miss out on my future videos. And also make sure that you have the notification bell turned on next to it. Here they are all finished. I decided to give this a nice coat of Mod Podge and I'm using the one that is dishwasher safe. Obviously, this sign will not be in the dishwasher, but I thought that it would help protect it pretty good against the weather elements, although the corner where I placed this sign does not usually get affected by that too much, but I figured why not. Now let's head back outside. Okay, so I painted the, the board and gave it about two coats, pulled it out into the sun to dry it a little bit quicker, and um, we're going to go ahead and attach the letters. Um, just I'm sure you realize this, but you can use any um, paint that you want. I'm just using the house paint because that's what I used the first time around. I did give it a rough sand, but this is an outdoor piece. I'm not worried about it being like, you know, super perfect. So we're going to go ahead and attach our letters. I don't have the best setup in my garage to film this. Um, I've just got stuff everywhere, um, but I'm going to use this Gorilla wood glue to attach these and I'll probably place something on top of each letter just to kind of hold it down while the glue sets, but I have everything laid out, spaced out the way I want it, and we're gonna go ahead and attach them using this wood glue. I will show you how that sign came out at the end. We're gonna move on to a doormat. Now I have done these multiple times in multiple ways. I am once again using a Dollar Tree mat, although I have used um, some of the, I don't know what they're called, but like the really stiff bristled ones. I picked them up before at Ikea and I'm sure you can get them other places, but I love doing these at the, from the Dollar Tree because they're super cheap and my Christmas one ended up blowing away and I wasn't heartbroken about it. <laughs> I mean, plus it was like February, so I really didn't have a need for it anymore. But, um, yeah, so we're going to take one of the Dollar Tree mats and we're going to stencil. I found a really cute phrase. Um, I don't know. I was just looking on Pinterest and just looking at some different phrases 
And so I found these stencils. These are from the from Walmart. I have used them before. They are adhesive. Um, they're reusable, but the adhesive, of course, doesn't stick super great because of the material we're putting this on. So I just made sure to not oversaturate my brush, but um, I just kind of went over it multiple times so that I had a brighter white. And we're going to do the words in white. And then I also have this little flower stencil. This is from a one of those plastic wheel of stencils, if you know what I'm talking about from Dollar Tree. I've just cut them apart to make it easier to store them and to use them. And I'm just gonna do them all over this mat with different colors using the same colors I used for the front sign. And after I started with the flowers, I remembered that I had more letters to put on. So I'm using these stencils. These are also from Walmart. They are like paper, kind of like a coated paper. So they are reusable, but they are not like, you know, they don't last forever, but they're smaller and they worked perfect to finish this out. I do not seal my mats at all and I've had no problems with them. My porch does get a lot of sun and when the rain comes, it often comes in sideways and sometimes does hit my mat. Um, and they seem to hold up just fine. I'm just using regular acrylic paint. So um, I've not had any problems with it, so I can only speak to my experience. All right, let's head back outside for our third project and then I'll show you everything completed at the end. All right, we are back out in the garage for another piece. I was kind of debating on painting this and I think I'm going to try to do something fun with this. I picked this up at a rummage sale probably 10 years ago for like two or three bucks. Um, our last house, this was inside the house, painted black. Um, I think the original color, yeah, it's probably like, I don't know if you can see it, like the wood there. And then I painted it white and you can see that's wearing. So I think I'm gonna have fun with some of the colors that I use on the other DIYs. Now that is acrylic paint, which is not like the best thing for this. But um, this stuff gets weathered and beat up, so it doesn't last forever anyway. So I don't really care. Um, I want it to like use the same colors. So I'm just gonna use the acrylic paint and um, let's see what we come up with. All right, so I know this isn't like the prettiest background, my garbage cans in the background, but we are in the garage. I'm gonna give this a light sanding to just kind of smooth out the edges and then I will wipe off any dust. Once again, I'm not going for perfection here. Um, but I'm going for fun and whimsical and I think I can pull that off. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, I changed the angle so that I wasn't in the sun. I think I'm going to attempt to use all of these colors. I don't know if that's like too much. It's so not my typical style, but I'm thinking of doing each one of the legs a different color and then the top and the shelf another color. So I'm going to do the main pieces with blue because that's what I have the most of and we're going to go in with these. These paints are really old. They probably actually need to be tossed, but we're going to give it a shot. I'm just using sponge brushes again. I don't know if I'm using the best stuff for these projects, but we're going to just have fun with it and hope that I have enough paint to finish these projects. Probably isn't going to be the best for my back, but I didn't want to have to bring this all inside and I don't know. I'll just have to take breaks. Because sometimes I'm like an old lady with my back issues. It's a beautiful day out though. Probably gonna take a couple of coats. But it's really nice out. I don't think anything's gonna take very long to dry. I can probably just go right back and do the second coat. I love being able to refresh my porch and just my home in general without necessarily having to spend more money. And so I have painted this table so many times and I've definitely already gotten my money's out of it, my money's worth out of it. So if this is the last time I paint it, then so be it. I won't be heartbroken. All right, so I'm not gonna show you all of the painting, but you can see I just went over it and over it until I had a nice saturated color. I'm not doing anything special, just using a foam paintbrush. And I hope you enjoy this type of video. It's a little bit more casual than my DIY videos, but um, I just switched things up this time around and I hope you liked it. All right, I'm not sure how well the lighting is, but um, it's kind of hard to tell from here. It doesn't look like it's good, but 
I've got about two coats. I'm going to probably do another one or, or two, but I'm going to um, go ahead and put the blue on the top here. I don't know if I said blue or green before, but blue is what I'm going to do. And it's definitely, you know, a thinner paint because it's acrylic, but I think it's going to do the trick. I think it's going to work just fine. All right, so now that it's all painted, I'm gonna go ahead and seal it with the Mod Podge. This is the dishwasher safe one. Not that this is gonna be in the dishwasher, but I have it on hand and I feel like it'll probably do a better job protecting against some elements. Ideally, you'd use probably like an, a polyacrylic that's for outdoor, but um, as I said before, I'm not super worried about it. Plus, um, this is just what I have on hand. So that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm just gonna give that a coat, maybe two, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna talk real loud because um, lawnmowers are happening. But here is the table all finished. I, I need to find some other things to put on top of it. These are just a couple things I had on hand and I see one of my hairs hanging off the plant because I shed like crazy. I'm not usually this casual. This is more of like a vlog style that I put on my other channel, but that's what you're getting in today's DIY video. If you look closely, it's not perfect, but I love it. It's fun, it's brightly colored. And as a fun little pop-up color, here is the doormat, which has been out for a couple days now, so it's not as clean as it was to begin with, but love that. And here is how the hello sign came out. And I'm very pleased. I think it's fun. I'll probably add a couple more things out to the porch, but that's probably it for my DIYs. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Sorry about the noise. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.